What's up guys, it's the Hot and Fuzzy. Today we're doing a video, I'm calling it the uh, the evaluation. We're, uh, we're doing something very similar to uh, how we did the sh with the, our uh, 12 gauge versus 20 gauge and the 20 gauge shotgun damage. Except we're focusing specifically on one gun. This is the Savage Arms Model 64 22 long rifle. And let's come over to the table here and we'll give you a closer look at it. This is one of my favorite 22s of all time. It's a very great gun. All right, this gun, it's a, it's a semi-automatic. It has a 10 round capacity. It's made by Savage Arms. Savage Arms is known uh, throughout the gun world for, uh, for creating all around quality weapons. Uh, they've been around since, I believe, 1895. That's when they came out with their first patent. And uh, they made guns for uh, World War II. They were actually the people who developed the Thompson. Uh, Shub Machine Gun that we all know from the gangster movies and uh, was one of our hero guns from World War II. But uh, this is one of their more recent discoveries. Uh, this they, this is the Savage Mall 64. It's a 22 long rifle, fires a uh, 22 LR cartridge. And uh, it's a very, very nice gun. I mean, it, it's great for squirrel hunting and all that stuff, just general pest control. Um, I've, shot, I've shot crows with it. It's, it's very, very nice, it's pinpoint accurate. But uh, let's, not, let's quit talking about it for a minute, and uh, we'll shoot a little bit. And I'll uh, let's load it up here. You load it up just like a, any other normal 22 magazine. We're using a little bit dirty ammunition, and we're not going to shoot a whole lot today because, as you know, the uh, the ammo crunch is going on right now, and it's kind of hard to find 22 shells. But we'll shoot. Nevertheless, we'll shoot a little bit and uh, give you a general idea of uh, how it fires and functions and all that. Seat, seat's very nice. Come over here. Uh, let's shoot a soda can on top of that steel switch right there. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> so you can see it's very accurate. It's very nice. I only had one round in there, so uh, let's go in here over here and. Uh, As you can see, it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's a very, very nice rifle. We got what we, we kind of uh, tricked it out a little bit when we got it. I've had this gun for about two years. Put a really nice Bushnell scope up on it. It really, really makes the rifle nice. And uh, if you'll step up here for just a second, I've got a. Uh, I'll show you how simple it is to break down. It's a very, very easy. All you need is an Allen key. It's, 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 it's very, it's very simple takedown. You just untighten. Un your two little nuts here. I might edit this out a little bit because this might take a little bit long to uh, untighten these. And it's another thing about Savage Arms is back in the 80s their their quality was a little bit worse. Like I know that they've always made ammunition and they're for some reason in the 80s I've heard from other people who owned them in the 80s that uh, they their quality control was really bad and uh, some of their guns weren't very accurate and they actually were you know pretty cheap guns but anymore you got guns like their uh, 243s that are just wonderful weapons that just are pinpoint accurate as you can see like this gun is and uh, they're just wonderful weapons never never malfunctions now we had a little bit of a malfunction back there that's because we're using dirty ammo here I mean, it works best with a uh, high-velocity ammunition. We're actually going to shoot some of that here in a minute. We've got some Federal Lightning and some 22 Thunderbolts. But you haven't seen that in a while. That's actually been uh, they quit making that uh, quite a while back. And once you get your cruise loosened up, it pops out. There you go. That's your whole inner workings. You got your trigger assembly. You can actually take this, unscrew this out, pull your barrel out, take this screw out, pull your uh, trigger trigger mechanisms out. Of course, it's a little bit dirty. I haven't cleaned this gun in a while, but I'm just wanted to keep keep it a little bit dirty to you know show you guys how uh, reliable it is. Put it back together. 
reverse the process, just lock it in there. Put your screw in. Oh, well, if I can do it. And you can actually change out the stocks on this gun. The Savage 64 is a, I think it's 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 Savage Arms best 22 that they make. They they make many different kinds of 22s. They make, uh, I believe it's the Model 60. It's a bolt action. It's a very accurate gun, but me, I've always been a semi-auto guy. Just because I like speed shooting, I've been I used to be a competition shooter. And taking apart the gun and cleaning it does not alter the zero of the scope. The scope stays zeroed. It's very, very nice. And, uh, like I said, these guns have been around for, what, hun over a hundred years. And, uh, and they, I mean, you know, if the military trusts them, that means, that assures that I can trust them. Usually anything the military uses, is, especially the U.S. military, is, is at least good to a point, you know. At least for civilian use. Now, we're going to move on to the, some of this uh, Thunderbolt ammunition. You really can't find this any, anywhere, actually, because uh, it's they quit making it. But this is some ammo that was kept up uh, for a long time, and it's actually very, very nice. It's uh, it, it, I, I haven't had any problems with it. We might see a problem out here with it, but you know, with any bulk ammunition, it could be dirty. So let's just see how far we go. Put enough in here where if I miss once or twice we can uh, we can maybe edit that out. So so uh let's, uh, let's take out the rest of these pop pop cans. Just step around to this side, we can uh see if we can keep the glare out and uh see how good of a shot I am, even at this short range. lightning shoot it into our uh, steel plate really quickly just to show you some uh, some uh, impact on steel it's a pretty pretty powerful little gun I mean it's it's, it's it slings them out there pretty quick it has a very nice it has the, it has the accu trigger on it. it's very very nice it's got a nice tight bulk uh, magazine and I really like it I only wouldn't advise shooting at steel this close but you know You can see it cycles very good, even with dirty ammunition. So, now that we've heated it up a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys what my personal favorite 22 is out there. We'll probably do some more 22 videos later. If you have any questions, questions you can uh, ask them on my Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash the hot and fuzzy. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep those subs coming, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.